Hi, my name is Samantha Evans, and I am an EDFD 460 with Dr. B. First, I'm going to talk about the summary of the article, Racial Pedagogy, and then talk about what guideline will be most challenging when I'm a teacher. And finally, I will talk about the potential strategies and approaches I'm going to use this upcoming semester. The article begins with an opening letter to the students. This was about how social justice courses often challenge mainstream understandings. And the article goes into examples of this, such as differences between a poor white man and a poor colored woman, and how there is a mainstream idea of poverty. Then it goes over five main guidelines. The first guideline is striving for intellectual humility. This guideline talked about standardized testing and challenging certain things, but not others. It also gave some strategies to practice, such as looking up vocabulary words, raising questions in class, striving to see connections to concepts already studied, and focusing on understanding the material. The second guideline was about everyone having opinions. But these opinions are not the same as informed knowledge. A few strategies to practice here are reflection, recognizing that you do not have to agree with everything in order to learn from them, and developing quality questions. The third guideline was uh, about examining patterns rather than looking at anecdotal evidence. Here it is talked about being open-minded and looking at new ways of understanding. A key thought in this section was not to focus on one small pattern, but rather focus on the large pattern. The fourth guideline was about gaining deeper self-knowledge. This section talked about how normally social justice is not taught or talked about in dominant groups, and when it is, it can strike up feelings such as anger, shame, or frustration. The last guideline talked about was how to recognize your social, social position and the work that you are studying in the course. This section talked about looking at everyone's perspectives and not just one person's. After the five guidelines were discussed, the next topic that was talked about in the article was grading. This part talked about changing the idea of getting a good grade to gaining the most throughout the course. It also went into how instructors need to demonstrate comprehension in order for them to grade students on it. The article talked about how not to be afraid to expand on a thought because there's always more that can be said. And lastly, it talked about how effort is not the same as understanding. The teacher does not look at how much time and work is put into a class, but they look more for comprehension and understanding of the material that was taught throughout the course. Next, I'm going to talk about what guideline will be most challenging for me. The guideline I think that will be most challenging when I'm a teacher is guideline two. This guideline is where everyone has an opinion, but opinions are not the same as informed knowledge. I would like to be placed in first through third grade, and the students in that age group still are in that point of life where they like to share interesting stories or facts about their lives. And I think that teaching them while that their opinions are meaningful and important, they're not informed knowledge. A strategy that was talked about in the article was open-ended questions to create grappling. I think this will be useful when I am a teacher because the students will be able to say what they think and to listen to what others have to say, but they will also be able to draw on the materials taught in class rather than just their opinions. Lastly, I'm going to talk about a few strategies I think that I think will be useful for me this semester. First is trying my best to stay open-minded. Throughout the article, it talked about growing in our knowledge and understanding. I think this is a key idea to remember because we might not agree on what is being said or done, but we can still listen to the other perspectives rather than just listening to our own. Another strategy is to reflect on what is being said. Think about different perspectives and do not undermine something just because it causes an unfamiliar or uncomfortable feeling or position. And lastly, look at it, it as an opportunity to gain knowledge about a certain topic rather than to close off. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed.